Hi there! Welcome to today's video. In today's video, which is going to be a really short video, what we are going to do is walk through the steps of creating or preparing training data for training wave 2 vac 2.0 model. Actually, if you learn how to prepare data for wave 2 vac 2.0 model, you know how to prepare data for Hubert model, and the same process is needed to train data for speech to direct speech to speech translation model, which I've discussed heavily in my past videos. So let's get into the details of how to prepare data to train this model. So what we're looking at right now is the GitHub repository of the FairSeq library, and specifically of wave 2 vac 2.0. And then here, there is a file called wave2vec underscore manifest.py. This is the file that we, we will be using to prepare the data from raw audios to the format that we need to feed into the wave2vec 2.0 model. Prerequisites are, we must have this fairseek library installed. So if you have not yet installed, please go ahead and install that first. If you need help with installing that, I have a video on my channel. Please feel free to watch that. And once we have installed, then we can move into the steps here. So if we follow the steps on this GitHub readme file, and we reach this point, training a new model with the CLI tools, and here is a section that tells us how to prepare training data. Specifically, it's called a manifest file, which is a .tsv file which is generated from the raw audio files. First thing, we need to install the sound file and then we just need to run this command. That's pretty much everything we have to do, but if you're doing it for the first time, it can be a little intimidating. So that's why I wanted to create this video to just show you or walk through the steps. All right. So in my case, all of my training data, which I only have like eight files, they are stored in this folder. So I want to create the manifest file from this raw wave files. So what I'm gonna do is, once I have these raw files in a folder, then I'm just going to run this command. So if we go here and we First thing I want to make sure that we are in the FairSeq uh, folder. So if you have installed the FairSeq library on your machine, wherever it is installed, you will see that the installation, when you installed it, you created this FairSeq folder. So we need to be inside this FairSeq folder. And if we are in that folder, now we can run the command, which is Python and then all of these arguments. So firstly, uh, this is the file that we are using, which is going to do the magic. And then we need to provide the location of the folder that contains all of the raw files, raw audio files. And then we need to specify the destination of where we want to store the manifest file, which is the .tsv file we're talking about. In my case, I specified it to be the same folder that contains my raw files, but that doesn't have to be the case for you. So just uh, specify whatever is uh, needed for your project. And then for the extension, I specify WAV because all of my files are in the wave format. Finally, for the valid percent, I specify zero. What that means is that all of the files that are in my folder, I want to use all of them for training. So that's why I specify the validation or valid percent to be zero. Now, if I run this and go back to the folder at which I have specified that my DSP file be stored in, then we will see what the output is. Okay, so this is the folder that contained all of the raw files. And now we see this new file that was created when we ran that command. And if you open this up, this TSV file is nothing, but it contains the root directory, which is the first line here. And then it contains the name of all the wave files. And then we have another column. This is the column that contains the number of frames in each of these uh, wave files. So that's 
what the output looks like and this is this DSV file is what we need to train the model now if you know how to do this you know how to prepare data for the Hubert model and more specifically for direct speech to speech translation model because this is this is actually what I'm working on right now so I needed to create the TSV file and if we go through the steps here it doesn't really specify how we need to create that but if we follow the links we will eventually get to know that using this manifest.py file in the wave 2 vec 2.0 readme is 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 the one we need which will do all the magic to convert your raw files to the manifest file that we need so that's all for this video i hope this was helpful and i will see you in the next one thank you bye